Hey, we've got a new video coming out for us. We're going to be covering how to set up a queue system for your Leorn board in Channel Point Redemptions. I've used to use an old school variables and it's about time I upgrade myself. So guess what? You get a little bit of upgrade if you want to use this. I'll make it available for download. Um, I want to give a shout out and thanks to Andy Lippy, who I basically just used his old school video. I'm going to go ahead and link his video down here below. Um, and I just updated it so it's kind of new with the current version or a newer version of Leorn board. So um, I believe I made this one with version 143. So if you have 143 or newer, it should be able to just pop in there and, and work just fine for you. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and get started on the video and I'll show you how to install it and use it. Welcome to my YouTube series. Here's where I look at anything to do to help you out on your stream, whether that's visual, audio, or brand. Hey, you know what we're doing and what we can to help each other out here. It's pretty much what it's all about. If you're new to the channel, please help me out with a sub button. It's pretty easy. It's free. It's right down there. Um, and we're actually pretty close to a thousand um, subscribers on YouTube. Once we hit that goal, I'll have some giveaways for us as well. So smash it and help us all out so we can do some fun stuff with that. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and show you exactly how to install this and get this going. All right, I'm going to try to make this as easy as I can for you. So I literally just made the deck as a, a, its own config. So if you navigate to where your Leorn board is installed for me, it's on my D drive, Leorn board, and where the receiver is at, you'll see all your configs, um, one, two, three, whatever, 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 um, all the way down to config 13 for me, it might be different for you. Um, and what I went ahead and did for you is I, I made this downloadable as config X. So I'm going to drag and drop it in here. And then I would change the X to uh, one more. So I have 13 here and I would change that to 14. Um, I'm going to actually not pop it in there because mine's already installed. But when you do that and you reopen up your Leon board receiver, you should see it um, all the way down at the, the very bottom on there. So. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, just take a look at what that looks like. Um, for me, it's this deck number five. Um, I literally just went a little crazy with it. I have 50 slots for you. So um, this is very similar, again, to Andy's setup on there, where this is the button that would trigger. So you could either press the button, or if you have it set up as a Twitch trigger with a, um, a channel point, it's easy to do. I've made millions of videos on how to do channel point redemptions as well. Um, after you hit one of these buttons, it feeds into the queue, does this little math, and then it spits out this as your actual action. So you're going to want to put your um, visibilities ons and offs and motions and all that kind of stuff in here, and it should fire off just correctly. So let's just take a look quick at what, how it's set up. Um, pretty simple on there. It's just using the stackable queue system um, after it stacks to the top. It goes ahead and triggers ID 31. That's this main button here where it does most of its thinking. Um, I had to make some modifications and some editings and stuff like that because I was having some hiccups with it. And that's one of the reasons why this delay is staggered. So if you wanted to add like more buttons, basically just copy the, uh, the, the functionality and you can actually add more buttons if you want. I think that 50 is plenty. But it's, it's, it's the same kind of system on there where it checks the stack, sees what's um, on, you know, if there's anything currently happening. And if the uh, there's nothing currently happening, it, it draws the first thing on top of the stack and then hits that corresponding button. So um, if for some reason you'd copy your config X and your button IDs get all mixed up, um, for example, this button ID for me is 33 ID 33 and it's number one. So if I go underneath the edit commands, I can see that Q1 here um, is, let me get a little closer for you. I should probably get these things hotkeyed better. So you can see that Q1 button one is ID 33. And so if those get mixed up or anything like that, you can, you can kind of fix them on the fly if you need to. Q2 is button 47, so if we go to done, um, we're here, we have 47 is Q2 and it should work out pretty well for us. Um, I did have to change one, a couple of things, like I was saying on there with a the delay and maybe it's just on my computer. Maybe I don't have enough processing power, but I had to stagger them out. So that's why these ones are at like a hundred milliseconds. And then every 10 or so I changed it to 200 milliseconds, you know, all the way down. So if you make more buttons, 
and you find that I think this it just was triggering it was trying to look up too many functions at once and it was glitching so I just staggered them out and it seemed to work great for me um, and uh, it, it seemed to work out um, this this line here I should probably add more comments that's the repeated um, button at five seconds so it will try to double check every five seconds to see if there's any more stacks that happen and then the variable act is basically if there's currently something acting or happening if this is currently one it will skip it and that's corresponding to this button right here and there's a lot of lot of mumble jumble here but we'll test it here in a little bit and i'll show you what i'm talking about so you go to the commands here um you would drop your animation and effects below this for us so you know you would do your your variable switches your moves and all this other stuff below that and then this is the animation time i set it to five seconds if you have channel point redemptions that last longer like 10 seconds you would need to adjust this accordingly and that's kind of how i have it set up let's go ahead and set up a couple of memes for us and go ahead and test the functionality out Okay, so if I wanted to set up something for work, for example, um, I'm just going to use the first button here. I'm going to right click and go into edit commands. I already have some stuff set up in my OBS. I'm just going to hit, hit plus. I'm going to do something simple so I won't get too complicated with it. We'll do a source change visibility. Probably my game screen effects um, scene. That's where a lot of my stuff is at. We'll do, I'll do like, uh, what's a quick one? Uh, sans. We'll turn it to true, and then I'll go ahead and copy that line. And I'm pretty sure it's because you have to reset it. Um, I'm pretty sure it's less than five seconds, and I'll just turn it to false at like probably about four seconds. We'll hit done. We'll hit done. Uh, let me actually open up the Stream Deck itself on the PC side of things. Run. It's thinking. I'm not connected to Twitch right now, but that's fine. Um, we'll connect to the Stream Deck number five. And if you wanted to test some of this, we can. Um, so, for example, um, if I hit number five, it's going to come down here. And every five seconds, it's going to fire off number five. And if you do it in sequence, like I'll do five, six, five, you'll see five is happening right now. Give it a second. Six is happening right now. So these would all be your channel point animations happening. And then give it a second again. It's going to think. And there it goes for five. So there's a little bit of delay built in. It all depends on when it re-triggers and stuff and how fast you hit the buttons. It should work out pretty well so everything's set up on the stack for you. All right. So let's go ahead and bring in... Um, I did set up and I hit done on number one for my sands. So... If I make this a little bit smaller, and I'll show you the OBS side. There's OBS on this side on here, and I hit one. I think I did it. Yeah, there goes the functionality for it. And it's just, for this one, it's simple. It's just a visibility on, visibility off. Um, you could do same things with um, animations or variable switches with, like, filter change visibilities. Anything you want for it, you can do it. Um, it's it's all set up in a queue system now for you. So if I hit one on the top, it would fire off the bottom one, or I could just hit the bottom one. Is what I did. But <clears throat> so, so I think that works out pretty well for us. You literally just take the yellow parts and put in your animations and your filter changes and things like that. And if you need to adjust the times accordingly, you can do so. So I made it a little bit modular so you can mess around with that as well. Um, I did want to mention one thing as well. Um, you know, with this, it doesn't carry over um, string commands, uh, like t text commands. So, for example, maybe you have somebody doing like a text to speech. Um, where they would do a channel point redemption and they would have to enter text. Um, this isn't set up to transfer that text over, but you can in a way do that if you hit on the green button, you basically store that as some information and expel it as its own stack on the yellow button. You can still do that. It's just a little bit more work and a little bit more setup. Um, but beyond that, it works out really well for me and I'm gonna be integrating it on my stream this week.